right now we're taking a first look at the brand new Ratio 8 coffee maker. It costs $580. It looks beautiful. It uses lots of premium materials. You can see it is basically covered in this nickel ceramic surface, which does not uh, smudge easily. There's also walnut, actual walnut wood on these structural arms on either side of the machine. The water reservoir here is hand blown, as well as the filter and pitcher that is very similar to what you see from Chemex and others. So the craft has magnets at the bottom and they're magnets in the base of the machine. That way the coffee maker knows when the craft is present or not. This way you don't have hot water spewing all over by accident if you press the button. So it's very cool, very elegant. The only control you're gonna find on the coffee maker is a capacitive button and you just touch it and it registers the feather light touch of your fingertip and that's pretty slick if you ask me. Outside of its really, really high price, there are some major usability problems with this machine. It is designed to brew a maximum of eight five ounce cups of coffee and the carafe as well as the water tank have fill lines that tell you when it's full. Unfortunately, when you actually measure it with these indicators, they don't line up with the amount that it's supposed to actually brew. So actually getting the amount of water you want to brew is a little tricky and you're probably gonna have to use a scale, which is definitely not very fun to do. So in a nutshell, this device is extremely expensive. If you wanna have that same luxury coffee performance and some of the high style, I would suggest going with something from Technovorm or even Bonavita, which offers a similar level of performance for a lot less money. For more, check out the full review at CNET.com. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET Appliances.